Hello. My name is Alex, and I want to share a story that I believe can inspire many. Just six months ago, my English was so basic that I couldn't even imagine writing this story. But here I am, not only writing but hoping to inspire others with my journey of learning English in just half a year. I come from a small town where opportunities to use English are almost non-existent. My dream has always been to study abroad, to see the world, and to meet people from different cultures. I knew that learning English was the key to unlocking this dream, but it always seemed like a distant goal. The turning point came unexpectedly. I found out about a scholarship to study in an English-speaking country. The only catch was the requirement to pass a language test in six months. At first, I laughed at the idea. How could I, with my elementary level of English, possibly improve enough to pass an advanced test in such a short time? But then, I thought, what do I have to lose? That night, I made a decision that would change the course of my life. I was going to give it my all. I started by setting clear goals. My first was to learn 10 new words a day. It sounds simple, but it was my foundation. I labeled everything in my room in English, from the door to the window, to the bed. I listened to English music, watched English movies with subtitles, and tried to mimic the accents. The challenges were more daunting than I expected. There were days when I felt I hadn't made any progress, and the words just seemed to jumble together. But I kept pushing forward. I remembered reading stories about people who achieved their dreams against all odds. If they could do it, why couldn't I? I reached out to anyone who could help. I found a mentor, Maria, a teacher who had studied in the UK. She was kind and patient, offering not just lessons in grammar and vocabulary, but in perseverance and hope. Maria taught me that making mistakes was part of learning. With her encouragement, I began to speak without fear of getting it wrong. Halfway through my journey, I hit a wall. I took a practice test and the results were disheartening. I felt defeated, thinking maybe I was foolish to ever believe I could do this. But Maria reminded me of how far I had come. She showed me that this wasn't just about passing a test, it was about proving to myself that I could do anything I set my mind to. Fueled by her words, I doubled my efforts. I joined online language exchange groups, made friends from around the world, and practiced speaking every day. I surrounded myself with English, making it a part of my very being. The day of the test arrived like a storm, sudden and terrifying. As I sat there, pencil in hand, I realized this was it. This was the moment I had worked so hard for. I remembered every late night, every moment of doubt, every small victory. I took a deep breath and began. The first section of the test was reading comprehension. The paragraphs looked like mountains of words at first glance, but I calmed myself, remembering Maria's advice to break everything down into manageable pieces. As I read through the questions, I found that I could understand more than I thought I would. Each correct answer built my confidence. Next came the writing part. I had to write an essay, something I had practiced over and over again. I chose a topic close to my heart, the importance of following your dreams, drawing on my own experiences. Writing it felt like pouring my soul onto paper, every word a step closer to my goal. Listening was the part I feared the most. The accents in the audio clips varied, and sometimes the words seemed to blend together. However, 
I focused on the main ideas, recalling the countless hours spent listening to English podcasts and songs. It was challenging, but not impossible. The speaking section was the final hurdle. Sitting across from the examiner, I felt a wave of nervousness. But then, I started speaking, and the words just flowed. It wasn't perfect, but it was me, my voice, telling my story in a language I had grown to love. Walking out of the examination room, I felt a mix of relief and anticipation. I had done everything I could. Now, it was a matter of waiting for the results. Those weeks of waiting were filled with reflection. Regardless of the outcome, I knew I had already succeeded in ways I never imagined. My English had improved, but more importantly, I had discovered a resilience within myself I didn't know existed. Finally, the day arrived. The envelope containing my test results was heavy in my hands. My heart raced as I tore it open, and then, there it was. I had passed. Not just barely, but with a score that exceeded even my own expectations. Tears of joy and disbelief filled my eyes. I had done it. Maria was one of the first people I shared the news with. Her pride in my achievement was evident, and her embrace was warm. You did this, Alex. You showed what's possible with hard work and belief in yourself. The news spread among my friends and family, and their joy and pride in my achievement were overwhelming. They had seen my struggles, my moments of doubt, and now, my success. It was a victory not just for me, but for all of us. As I prepared for my journey to study abroad, I reflected on the past six months. The lessons I learned extended far beyond English grammar and vocabulary. I learned about determination, the power of support, and the courage to chase dreams, no matter how distant they seem. Looking back, I want to tell others who might be facing their own challenges, whether in learning a language or another dream, that it's possible. It won't be easy. There will be days when you feel like giving up, but remember why you started. Find your support system, whether it's a mentor like Maria, friends, or family. And most importantly, believe in yourself. As I board the plane to start my new adventure, I realize this is just the beginning. There are more challenges ahead, more dreams to chase but I go forward with the confidence that I can face them, armed with the lessons of these past six months. And to you, reading my story, I hope it serves as a reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a bit of courage, anything is possible. Your dreams are valid, and they're waiting for you to reach them. So take that first step, and don't look back. The journey might surprise you. The plane's engines roared to life, and as it took off, I watched my hometown disappear beneath the clouds. It was a symbolic moment, not just a physical departure but also a departure from my old self. The person who looked out the window, marveling at the vastness of the sky, was not the same person who had doubted their ability to learn English six months ago. This journey had transformed me. As I settled into my new life abroad, the challenges didn't stop. There were moments of cultural shock, homesickness, and the realization that mastering a language in a classroom is different from living it every day. But these challenges didn't deter me, they only fueled my desire to learn and grow. One of the first things I noticed was how my daily interactions became opportunities for learning. Ordering food, asking for directions, or even eavesdropping on conversations at the bus stop became lessons in vocabulary and pronunciation. 
I carried a small notebook with me everywhere, jotting down new words, phrases, and observations about the nuances of the English language. My classmates came from all corners of the world, each with their own stories of perseverance and dreams. We formed a study group, and through our shared experiences, I learned not just English, but the art of communication. It was fascinating to see how language could bring people together, bridging cultural and geographical divides. In those moments, I remembered my mentor Maria and her lessons that went beyond grammar rules. She taught me about the human aspect of language, the way it shapes thoughts, cultures, and connections. I began to understand that learning English was not just about passing a test or achieving a goal. It was about understanding and being understood, about finding my place in a wider world. My progress was not linear. There were setbacks and moments of frustration when the words wouldn't come out right or when I misunderstood something crucial. But each mistake was a lesson, and each lesson made me stronger. I volunteered at local community centers, helping others who were just starting their journey with English. Teaching them reminded me of my own struggles and victories, reinforcing my knowledge and giving me a sense of purpose. It was a way of giving back, of paying forward the kindness and support I had received. Months turned into a year, and my fluency in English improved dramatically. I could engage in complex conversations, understand fast-paced lectures, and even dream in English. But more importantly, I had found a sense of belonging. My identity was no longer tied to a single language or culture. I was a citizen of the world, with a rich tapestry of experiences that transcended borders. As I reflect on my journey, I realize that learning English was just the beginning. It opened doors to new opportunities, friendships, and perspectives. It taught me about resilience, the importance of community, and the transformative power of education. For those who are embarking on their own language learning journey, my advice is simple. Be patient with yourself, embrace every opportunity to practice, and never lose sight of why you started. The road may be long and fraught with challenges, but it is also filled with moments of joy, discovery, and connection. Language is more than words and grammar, it is the key to understanding each other and ourselves. It allows us to share our stories, learn from one another, and build bridges where walls might have stood. So, keep learning, keep speaking, and keep exploring. Your story is just beginning, and the world is waiting to hear it. As for me, my journey continues. There are more languages to learn, more cultures to experience, and more dreams to chase. But no matter where this journey takes me, I'll always remember the six months that changed everything. It was the time when I dared to dream, to step out of my comfort zone, and to discover the power of my own voice. And so, the story doesn't end here. It's simply a new chapter in a larger, ongoing journey of growth, discovery, and connection, a journey that all of us can embark on one word at a time. Time passed, and with each day, my new life abroad became richer and more fulfilling. My proficiency in English allowed me to excel academically, opening up opportunities I had once thought were beyond my reach. I majored in international relations, a field that fascinated me because it embodied the essence of what I had learned through my language journey communication, understanding, and the ability to bring people together. During my studies, I had the privilege of interning at a non-profit organization focused on education for underprivileged children around the world. 
It was here that I saw the profound impact language education could have on individuals and communities. I worked on projects that aimed to provide English learning resources to remote areas, inspired by my own experiences of how transformative learning English had been for me. As I approached the end of my studies, I realized that my journey was not just about personal achievement. It was about how I could use my skills and experiences to make a difference. I decided to dedicate my career to the field of educational equity, focusing on language learning as a tool for empowerment. Graduation day was a moment of profound reflection. As I stood before my peers, delivering a speech as the valedictorian of my class, I shared my story. I spoke about the power of dreams, the importance of perseverance, and the incredible journey of learning that brings us all closer together. I looked into the audience and saw faces from all over the world, each with their own story, their own dreams, and their own journey of discovery. It was a poignant reminder of how far I had come and how interconnected our lives were through the languages we shared and learned. After graduation, I returned home for a brief period. The reunion with my family and friends was emotional. They saw the changes in me, not just in my fluency in English, but in my confidence and my outlook on life. My community was proud, and I was determined to give back. I started a small language learning center in my hometown, using my savings and support from local businesses. It was a modest setup, but it was a start, a way to provide others with the opportunity that had changed my life. The language center became a place of hope and learning. I used my story to inspire others, showing them that it was possible to achieve their dreams with hard work and determination. We offered classes in English and other languages, facilitated by technology and volunteer teachers from around the world. It was a testament to the power of community and shared goals. Years went by, and the language center grew. It became a beacon of learning in the region, helping countless individuals improve their lives through language education. For me, it was a dream realized, a way to use my journey to inspire and empower others. As I reflect on the path I've taken, from those first uncertain steps to where I stand now, I am filled with gratitude. Learning English was the key that unlocked a world of possibilities, but it was the journey itself that taught me the most valuable lessons. It showed me that barriers can be overcome with dedication and support, that knowledge is a tool for change, and that our dreams are worth pursuing, no matter how daunting they may seem. My story is but one of many, a single thread in the vast tapestry of human experience. But if it can inspire even one person to take that first step towards learning, to embrace the challenges and joys of discovering a new language, then it has served its purpose. The journey of learning never truly ends. There are always new words to discover, new people to meet, and new horizons to explore. So, to anyone standing at the beginning of their own journey, I say this, believe in yourself. Embrace the journey with an open heart and an eager mind. The world is waiting for your voice, and the story you have to tell is worth every effort. In the years that followed, the Language Center became more than just a place of learning. It became a community hub where people from diverse backgrounds came together, shared their stories, and learned from each other. It was a reflection of my own journey embodying the lessons of perseverance, mutual support, and the transformative power of communication. I often thought back to those early days of my own language learning journey, the struggles, and the triumphs. It filled me with a sense of purpose to see others embarking on similar paths, 
each student with their own dream, just like I had. Watching them grow, overcome obstacles, and reach their goals was a reminder of how far-reaching the impact of education can be. But my journey didn't stop with the Language Center. Inspired by the students and the community, I decided to further my own education. I pursued a master's degree in education with a focus on language acquisition and educational technology. It was a challenging endeavor, balancing my studies with my responsibilities at the center, but it was driven by a desire to deepen my understanding and enhance the support we could offer. Throughout my further studies, I was constantly reminded of the interconnectedness of our world. Theories and methodologies from around the globe gave me a richer perspective on language learning, and I was eager to apply these insights to our programs. My thesis, which explored innovative approaches to language teaching for adult learners, was not just an academic exercise but a blueprint for the future of our center. Upon completing my degree, I returned to the center full of new ideas and a renewed sense of commitment. We implemented blended learning models, incorporating online resources and interactive software to complement traditional classroom instruction. We also initiated cultural exchange programs, connecting our students with learners from other countries fostering global friendships and understanding through language. The impact of these initiatives was profound. Students were not only learning English more effectively but were also gaining insights into other cultures, broadening their worldviews, and developing a sense of global citizenship. The Language Center had become a microcosm of the world, a place where barriers were broken down and bridges were built. As the center thrived, so did the community around it. Local businesses benefited from a more diverse and skilled workforce, and the town became a more inclusive and vibrant place. The success of the center attracted attention from educational organizations worldwide, leading to partnerships that further enriched our programs and extended our reach. Reflecting on this journey, from a hopeful student to an educator and community leader, I realized that the greatest lessons came from the journey itself. Each challenge faced, each obstacle overcome, and each success celebrated taught me more about myself and the world than I could have ever imagined. I share my story not as a testament to my own achievements but as an encouragement to others who may find themselves at the beginning of their own journeys. Whether it's learning a new language, pursuing an education, or following a dream, the path may be fraught with challenges, but it is also filled with potential for growth, discovery, and fulfillment. The journey of learning and personal development is a lifelong endeavor. There will always be new languages to learn, new knowledge to acquire, and new horizons to explore. But the most important lesson I've learned is that it's not just the destination that matters, it's the journey itself. It's the people we meet along the way, the challenges we overcome, and the dreams we dare to pursue. So, to all those who are just beginning, take that first step with courage and curiosity. Embrace the journey with an open heart and an eager mind. Your story is unique, and it has the power to inspire, to change, and to connect. The world is vast and filled with possibilities, and your voice is an essential part of its chorus. Remember, every great journey begins with a single step. And who knows where your steps will lead you? As years turned into decades, the Language Center became more than just a local institution. It was a beacon of hope and opportunity, inspiring similar initiatives in other communities and countries. The simple yet profound idea that knowledge is a bridge had taken root far beyond the confines of my hometown, 
spreading a message of unity and understanding across borders. My role evolved over time. While I remained deeply involved in the center, my experiences and learning had equipped me to advise on educational policies and initiatives at a national and international level. The journey from a student struggling with basic English to an advocate for global education was a testament to the power of dreams and the unstoppable force of determination. The world had changed dramatically since I first embarked on my journey to learn English. Technology had advanced, connecting people in ways that were once unimaginable. These advancements presented new opportunities and challenges for language learning and cultural exchange. I found myself at the forefront of these discussions, advocating for accessible education and the importance of digital literacy alongside language skills. But amid these grand endeavors, I never lost sight of the individual stories that mirrored my own. I often visited classrooms both physically and virtually, sharing my story and listening to those of others. Each story was a reminder of the transformative power of education and the importance of personal connection in the learning process. One such story was that of Leah, a young woman from a remote village whose dream was to become a doctor. Like me, she faced barriers of language and opportunity but she was determined to overcome them. The center provided her with the resources to learn English, opening up a world of knowledge and possibility. Leah's journey was challenging, filled with long hours of study and moments of doubt. But her resilience and hard work paid off. She earned a scholarship to a prestigious medical school, where she excelled. Leah's success story was one of many that emerged from the center, each unique but united by a common thread of empowerment through education. These stories were not just individual triumphs, they were evidence of the center's impact on the community and beyond. They were proof that when given the opportunity, people can and will rise to their potential, changing their lives and the world around them. As I reflected on these stories and my own journey, I realized that the true legacy of our efforts was not in the buildings, the programs, or even the accolades. It was in the lives changed, the communities transformed, and the ongoing cycle of learning and empowerment. This legacy was not mine alone, it belonged to every student who dared to dream, every teacher who inspired a love of learning and every community member who supported our mission. My journey had taught me many lessons, but perhaps the most important was that education is a journey without end. There is always more to learn, more to teach, and more to explore. The landscape of language and education will continue to evolve, but the fundamental truths will remain, knowledge is power, dreams are worth pursuing and every individual has the potential to make a difference. As I look to the future, I am filled with hope and excitement for the next chapters in this ongoing story. The journey of learning, like the journey of life, is an adventure of endless possibility. It is a path made richer by the people we meet, the challenges we overcome, and the dreams we dare to pursue. So. To all who walk this path, I offer my encouragement, my gratitude, and my heartfelt wish. May your journey be filled with discovery, growth, and the joy of making your dreams a reality.